Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Corona, California. Yes, I said that, Corona, California. The virus is leaving, but the, the city will always be here. All right, let's see, what do we got? Let's invite our friends from the other side. Here they are. Let's see who is joining us tonight in this beautiful 70 degree California weather. All right, here we go. And let's see, what do we got? Sarah, how are you? Here we go. Oh, shoot, hold on, invisible nest. Sarah, how are you? Oh, shoot, hold on, Okay, it's the show goes a lot better when I'm when I'm around. So it's, the show goes a lot better when I'm around here. So let's see, show number four hundred and three. So let's see. Come on, everyone. Michael Ramirez, how are you, my friend? All right, Becky Ottenberry. I hope I answered your questions by just showing up. All right, Debbie Malone, how are you? I wonder how long will it take Naz to realize that Naz is invisible. I think by the time he reads this comment, he will have fixed it. <laughs> Good to see you too. Good evening, Beverly Wicks, how are you? All right, Debbie Malone, Becky Ottenberry, Michael Ramirez, Sarah. Okay, here we go. Rita, 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 Rita. All right, who else is, Dolores is here. Hello, Dolores. I'm here. Didn't realize it was 10.30. It is 8.30 Pacific time. Alrighty. Who else? Alright. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wow. Why is this? I think my face is being transparent. You can see the the signs in the back of my head. Okay, that's fine. See? No, that's better. Here we are. See? The writing on the wall. The mark of the beast. Right on my head. Why am I getting... That tells you I don't have a brain. Okay. I can live with that. All right, all right. Okay. You know what? Um... Some of you might not realize this. <laughs> uh, he self-helped himself to the program and to the screen. Welcome now. Thank Neil is back with us. Hi, Neil. Welcome back. Uh, let's see. Your background looks like the cover of a John Corson Bible study, I think. Right. I love John Corson. Oh, that's right. He's Applegate. He's where you, where are you at? Okay, you guys hear the phrase weight management, weight management. This is a ridiculous phrase. Management, really? You want to manage? Management requires a business plan, budgeting, and forecasting. How do you manage your weight? Hey, fat cells, today I need all of you to leave my stomach and go into my shoulders and just suck it in, okay? Take a deep breath, hold it for the next 12 hours. All right, if I'm the manager of my weight, I probably will fire half of my staff. That would be, that's what's causing my, my big stomach is my staff because I'm a weight manager. I don't know, just weight management, yeah, right. Uh-oh, music is coming here. All right, Michael Ramirez, hello. hello. I am live. Thank you, Michael, for sharing the show. You're amazing. Okay. Last night I asked you the question. Give me the worst name 
are a bad titles for a self-help book. Bad titles for a self-help book. Uh, hello, James Blind. Is this support, the support group for the morbidly oh, obtuse? Yes, that's what it is. You you came to the right place. Weight management. Well, then, let's fire half the staff. Right. Okay. I could not come up with 20 people. So I ended up with 30. Was that okay? The top 30. Bad titles for a self-help book. At number 30, how to fail at everything. At number 29, the power of thinking small. Number 28, how to marry a Nigerian prince. At number 27, your worst life now. At number 26, 40 days of worthless. At number 25, closet designs for skeletons. At number 4, cultivate what doesn't matter. At number three, how to duct tape your mouth when your wife is going through menopause. At number 22, learning to cope with a third nostril. <laughs> At number 21, how to increase vision in your third eye. At number 20, lower your expectations. At 19, how to pass kindergarten the fifth time. 18. Bribing St. Peter in three easy steps. Number 17. Bad titles for a self-help book. How to swim while reading a book. And number 16. If you're reading this, you're beyond help. At number 15. You can't do this. You're going to fail. At number 14. TikTok tips for seniors. <laughs> number 13. The art of giving up. 12. Let Jesus take the wheel and other ways to meet him quickly. At number 11. Embracing the hot mess you'll always be. <laughs> and now here's the top 10 for bad titles for self-help book. Number 10. Nose hair for fun and profit. <laughs> number 9. Cleaning belly buttons for dummy. At number 8. The four minute work week. At number 7. Making lonely work for you. <laughs> At number six, how to be the most uninteresting person in the room. No, that was number five. At number, oh, number six. At number five, how to self-identify as rich. At number four, preparing for your future in fast food. Number three, how to look important while standing in the unemployment line. Number two, how to overcome missing the toilet. And the number one, worst name, bad title for a self-help book, how to compliment a pregnant woman that is not pregnant. <laughs> Good job, you guys. That was funny. Yes, I was laughing the whole night. Katie's back with us. and Ka All right, Katie Lee is back. Hello, Katie. It seems weight management is what receptionists do, right? They just wait. Well, I might have ended up on the bottom of the list, but at least I made it. All right. All righty, come on in. Here's your first question for the night, people, and it came from Rita. Excuses why you forgot Valentine's Day. Excuses why you forgot Valentine's Day. Now, remember, Valentine is this Monday, so you still have a chance. But if you're a woman, you probably heard some excuses from guys why they forgot, or if you're married, your, why your husband forgot uh, Valentine's Day. If you're a guy, you probably came up with an excuse why you forgot, excuses why you forgot Valentine's Day. Okay, you go ahead and give me those, and we will, <laughs> okay, excuses why. Here's my, uh, one of my excuses is Walmart moved the flowers to, to a different aisle. That's why I forgot about it. It's a corporate play to get my money. <laughs> oh, so that's the reason. Because I'm still single. I got a headache. <laughs> What's Valentine's Day? Never heard of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Hello, Lily. All right, all of you who just came in, welcome, welcome, welcome. 
My wife hates Valentine's Day and wants nothing. I made mistake of not listening one year. Ouch. Valentine's Day is against my religion. <laughs> you know what? If your wife said she doesn't like Valentine's Day and she doesn't like gift on it, don't believe her. Valentine's Day, my, me either Michael, but we are still hilarious. Me either Michael, but we're, I wasn't done celebrating Christmas yet. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Marie, welcome, Dolores. I heard Cupid got shot with his own arrow. Why would they let like a baby like that play with sharp objects like arrows and stuff? The flowers all wilted before I could give them away. Valentine's Day landed on President's Day and Biden was on my mind. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny, Michael. All right. Hello, Bobby Miller. There weren't enough commercials to remind me. <laughs> All right, I was too busy self-identifying as rich, right? It was stolen. Marie Rangel, how are you? It was stolen. Okay, let's see. I stopped giving gifts to my ex, okay. Uh, there was a misprint on the calendar. <laughs> sure it was. Sure there was, Beverly. Because I blocked it out. <laughs> All right, because that baby with the bow and arrow is a danger. Warner of what could happen. All right, excuses why you forgot Valentine. Here's what Rita came up with. I was busy with my other girlfriend, waiting for cheaper gifts after Valentine's Day. My mom wouldn't give me a loan. <laughs> My mom would not give me a loan. The graveyard had security. That's why she couldn't get the flowers. The graveyard had security. <laughs> the cemetery gates were locked and I couldn't get in to get you any flowers. See, great mind think a lot. I thought you were not exchanging this year. <laughs> I must not have been ovulating. <laughs> oh, okay, Rochelle. Six kids, hmm. <laughs> Valentine's Day is now give myself a gift. I bought something for all the others. How did I forget you? Sure you did. Did I miss you reading mine about the girlfriend? Did I miss you reading mine about the girlfriend? No, well, let me go back and see. I was still, if I can still do it, let's see. Where is Beverly, 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 Beverly? Beverly Dolores. Rochelle, Debbie, Sarah, James, Becky. Married man to wife. My girlfriend doesn't celebrate it, so I figure you didn't either. I'm still working on the big gift, right? I left my heart in San Francisco. But this is a leap year, right? Of course, it is a leap year. We don't celebrate Valentine's. The check is in the mail, right? Oh, that's funny. How did I miss all this? Mm -mm -mm. let's see I lost my credit card sure you did <laughs> oh, all my exes live in Texas I thought we stopped celebrating since we got married <laughs> because I'm against materialism sure you are I was scheduled for a TV interview with Keith Morrison what? <laughs> Is he still alive? I was in deep prayer. <laughs> I couldn't borrow the car. I was suffering with an achy, breaky heart. You just don't seem to understand. She doesn't. He doesn't. Autocorrect strikes again. That was supposed to be because that baby with the bow and arrow is a danger. Warning of what could happen. Because of COVID, right, Rochelle? I sent you a postcard wishing you were not here. 
The store wouldn't accept crypto. Oh, Nancy. Oh, is that the only way? You, that's the only money you have now, huh? <laughs> that is so funny, guys. I don't see you with any gift for me either. What's the deal? <laughs> oh. Let's see. Because my theme song is all by myself, right? Cupid got shot the first day of deer season. Sorry. Ah, I was watching over 400 back episodes of Live with Nat. <laughs> What's love got to do with it? Hydrate and share. Alan Goodwin, how are you? Thank you for joining us and reminding us. It's 847. Today I will be using my Hydro Flax. I feel so girly drinking like that. I don't know, but it's, uh, they say 80% of people's body is made out of water. If that's the case, when they cremate you, they should put you in a hydroflex, not in a, in a vase or a jar or a bottle. Hydroflex. Because you give love a bad name. I thought you were smarter than most women to care. My imaginary dog died. Rochelle is on, so. Marie, okay, let's see, James. I was in a mental hospital due to we don't talk about Bruno. Oh, Bruno from, what's the name? What's the name of the Disney? Is it Disney show? No, it's not. Is it Incognito? No. I think Incognito, right? I was working all day to make money to buy you a gift. And it's not payday yet. That's right. I thought you were allergic to flowers and chocolate makes you fatter. All the chocolate melted in my mouth. Neil said, you said you really meant it this time when you said you didn't want anything this year. Oh, no. This is where the trouble happens, Neil. Uh, you know, it's funny. I am allergic to flowers. So that's why Maha does not keep, you know, once in a while she will buy flowers and keep them. But I start sneezing. And I remember the first time, you know, I bought flowers for Maha and I gave them to her and she was talking to me and I'm tearing up. My eyes are tearing up. Every, every sad story she told me, I'm like, I bet she was thinking, what a sensitive man, man. This guy is a wuss. But actually it was the flower, the allergies from the flower. Here, will chocolate x lax do? <laughs> so boogie, man. Boogie, oh, so boogie. That's so feminine of you. <laughs> I forgot because I don't like you. I wanted to get you an NFT, but everything I like was fungible and not token at all. Sure. Scotty beamed me up. <laughs> I was with the grandparents watching Lawrence Wilk. <laughs> Naz, are you doing anything special for Maha on Valentine's Day? She told me she doesn't want anything. She doesn't like Valentine's Day. So I might. Let's see. Monday is off. See, guys, we'll be off Monday too because it's Valentine's Day. So I'm going to take my wife to dinner or something. So or spend the day with her. So. No Monday, it's a holiday, it's President's Day too, and because of Biden, I'm taking the day off too. <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, yeah, we will not be here Monday. We'll be here tomorrow, God willing. Mon uh, Friday, I'm gone because I'm in Washington. I come home Sunday night. So Monday's off because of that Valentine's Day. So you go celebrate it with your loved ones. And if you're single, I am, uh, I, I'm no, I'm, I'm, pray for you i feel for you it's okay it's a hard day for single people and let's see is it's all a conspiracy theory sure encanto that's what is the name thank you neil encanto that's where bruno is why do you feel girly drinking out of the flask that i don't know just look at this like you know i look like a baby calf like feeding for the first time. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe I should do it like that. Mm. I don't know. You forgot to meme me. <laughs> memo me. Memo me. Can you say that ten times fast, Rita? Memo me, me, memo me. I was having a Lord of the Ring movie marathon. So you didn't. My mistress had a birthday. Oh, <laughs> put your priorities straight, Brent. Welcome. You won la last night's top 30. You were number one at how to compliment a, woman, a pregnant woman. What was it? It was how to compliment a pregnant woman that is not pregnant. Naz, are you getting material for your ex? For your excuse on Valentine's. Yes. That's true, Marie. And I got 30 of them right now. Ah. Oh, no. Since you're allergic to flowers, Nez, how do you conduct weddings? I actually have done just one wedding in my life. That's the only one I did. But that's... Uh, I try not to do them. I forgot your name because I have three girlfriends. Sure. I didn't think you celebrated because you don't have a heart. Oh, don't you think we have enough kids? That's true. There was a huge Valentine chocolate recall. <laughs> oh, Debbie Malone, that is a great excuse. There's a chocolate recall. Oh, I, uh, I didn't know about it, but I'm glad you told me because I was going to go get some chocolate. Oh, good one. Good one, Debbie. <laughs> I was too busy trying to come up with an excuse for not getting you anything. Uh, then just celebrate Maha Day. Right. April 15 is Maha's Day. Her birthday is on April 15th. Therefore, that means tax money. So that's, I write the check to the IRS, put it in the envelope, put a stamp on it, give it to Maha. I go, happy birthday, baby. Don't forget to throw it in the mailbox. No, it's not. We fought before. It's a beach day. Thanks for letting us know about being off Valentine's Day as well as this Friday. Missed this show already now. I'm sorry, Sarah. I know I have to do life in between the shows sometimes. I feel bad, trust me. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day against my religion. Sure, holiday is 21st, not 14th. <laughs> Keep calm and nope, I forgot. <laughs> Good one, Christine. Christian Ann. Because of my calendar, it's called Single Awareness <laughs> Single Awareness Day. My other girlfriends didn't make a big <laughs> deal. <laughs> Baby calf, yes. Yes, that's not girly. That's your feeding like a baby. Valentine Day has big rules. <laughs> Good one. It has pagan roots. And I won't participate. What a good Christian, Nancy. <laughs> Enjoy single life. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. I try not to celebrate holidays that commemorate a beheading. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, that's right. They killed the guy. <laughs> Saint Valentine, right? Oh, Lord. Ah, hey, I seriously don't mind people celebrating Valentine's Day with those they love but let's not forget the single either yes i know i know because people use when i was single and I, like people were making a big deal like or so in love on that day only like relax dude when you love someone you shouldn't care <laughs> that's your excuse rita huh i thought you said it was a gift that keeps on giving I thought it was Christmas. My secretary was out with COVID and she usually takes care of such things. Sure. John should propose on V-Day. Nope. Too early. I had a parole hearing. Hello, Dave Ebert. <laughs> so honest. I was busy not watching the Squid Games Olympics. <laughs> There was a recall on roses. I didn't need a Hallmark holiday to celebrate my love for you. Oh, sure. 
Give her flowers throughout the year. Right, Frank? Especially, I'm allergic to flowers. <laughs> I was starting a convoy in trusty, rusty little red. I was coming from the other side and Ness forgot to let me in. That's your <laughs> We still have time to get some chewing gum. I gave you something for Christmas. I can't afford. I love you twice a year. <laughs> afford to love you twice a year. <laughs> it's easier to say I don't. My heart's too broken. You didn't make the cut for a kid. <laughs> Aww. He didn't make the cut for it. A priest named Valentine's was martyred in 270 AD by Emperor Claudius the Second Gothicus after he found out that Valentine was secretly helping Christian couples get married. The feast of Saint Valentine was established by Pope Gelasius the First in AD 496 to be celebrated on February 14th in honor of St. Valentine of Rome. Coming from a single lady, I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's true. That's true. And they killed them in prison. New single people are complaining about Valentine. We married two people have to go through that memory and celebrate it. Right, Mr. Blind? James Blind? But honey, your reward will be in heaven. Sure. I'm saving money for you to get a chocolate bunny for Easter. Sure. <laughs> I didn't think you'd want the matching electronic ankle bracelet, do you? Huh. I was expecting us to be broken up by now. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. I was expecting to be broken by now. Oh, bad planning, huh, Dave? Oh, man, you guys. Oh, my mom ate the chocolates. There's a supply chain problem for gifts. Sure. San Valentine married people against the government outlawing due to word of God. That is why he was executed. Mm. Hello, Matthew. Last time, gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. <laughs> okay, George Michael. Fauci said Valentine's Day was canceled because it's in COVID friendly, right? Let's hop in the car and head to 7-Eleven. The sky is the limit, baby. <laughs> get a big slurpee. Well, you're the one who said I didn't have to get you anything, right? Roses are red, violets are blue, Valentine's Day just isn't for you. <laughs> That's funny. Why am I, why is my face, is, I think the lights are too. I feel it, I feel like there's air coming into my skull. Maybe that's the cut when I cut myself. Okay, let's read more <laughs> excuses. <laughs> Bunch of liars, I love you. I'm waiting to see what you got me. <laughs> Blessing everyone and hello, Martina. You're my second wife. My third wife will hate this holiday. <laughs> but I, I'm my gift to you every day. Sure, it was too cold. Hello, Chris. But the question is, Excuses why you forgot Valentine's Day. I'm on a 21st day, 21 day fast, which includes giving up holiday. Sure. Because I'm still paying child support. <laughs> there was a long line at the 7 Eleven. By the way, my husband enjoyed your gig at One and All Church. Thank you, Marie. Because they took away the dollar menu. <laughs> Good one, Sarah. I was watching this prophet on Facebook who said we'd be raptured on the 13th. I got distracted thinking of you. From my, that's good one. Good one, Monty. Your forehead does look a bit shiny. Okay, let's work on that. Hold on. It's bothering me. Oh, 
All righty. That should be better. Let's see. Okay. See? Uh-oh. It's still there. What's going on? Okay. No, no, that's bad. That is bad. No, no, no. Let's do something. Hold on. Hold on. We're back. Your fur does look a bit. You know what it is? I think it's the shirt. It's the shirt I'm wearing. Yes. It's horrible. It's killing me. I might bleed to death. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. How about now? It is a shirt. Okay, let's read some more. Absence makes the heart forgetful. My split personality took over and they don't like you. I didn't win the lottery. Okay, it's nine o'clock. Suck it up and share. Hydrate and share, people. I didn't forget. Here's your 99 cent store gift card. Oh, you didn't win the lottery. Now the vitamins give you a certain glow. <laughs> Probably. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Oh, crap. I forgot things almost instantly. I forgot things almost instantly. It runs in my family. At least, I think it does. <laughs> Good excuse. Maybe Naz's forehead is a portal to another dimension ever since he cut it. I think that's what happened. See? The injury. Okay. I was busy getting a tattoo of your portrait on my left cheek. Oh, no. <laughs> Dr. Fauci forbids flowers and candy. I couldn't find the gift at the Dollar Tree store. <laughs> my MRI was more important. <laughs> I was on vacation with my other girlfriends. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> because I left my heart in San Francisco. Hello, Teresa. Welcome. Good to see you. I'm recovering my last gunshot wound from last Valentine's. I was on a cold streak and haven't won any TP during Guinness World Record. <laughs> when you bend forward, the words appear. Okay, let's bend backwards. I'll bend over backwards for you people. I don't think the way to San Jose. I don't know the way to San Jose and that's where my true love lives. Okay, got lost going to the dollar store. You have roses on your forehead. I do. It's like a purple glare on your... Yeah, I think it is the shirt, people. I was getting braces put on my teeth. And if I can't eat candy, <laughs> neither should you. Oh, I feel like I'm watching a remake of Tron on Nez's head. Okay, here we go. Bring him on. Bring him on. Bring his joke. I was donating plasma to save up for your gift, but they cut me off at five times a week. <laughs> Naz has a mark of, on his forehead. Yep, that's my fear. It's roses from the background. Yeah, but I think I think with with all the backgrounds, it's doing. It. It's the shirt, people. Trust me. Naz, Naz, you there? You know how I feel about those beauty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forehead technical difficulty. <laughs> the thorns on the roses send me to the ER. 
because I'm a stone cold killer and the guards wouldn't let me out to pick your daisies. Don't take the shirt off. <laughs> Just go with the flow. We're good. You look great. Thank you, Bobby. Our car got repossessed. <laughs> Instead of Ness wearing his heart on his sleeve, he's wearing it on his forehead. <laughs> right. Your sister is prettier. <laughs> What's Valentine's Day? Hi, Christine. Welcome. I missed you today. Out of a sight, out of sight, out of mind. Knowing the big heart you have, I donated the money to the homeless soup kitchen in your name. Sure, Debbie Malone. Wonderful excuses. Flower inflation is too high. Good night, Brent. I almost bought you chocolate and flowers, but the check bounced. I had to do rock, paper, scissors with myself, and I lost. Oh, man. Because we're breaking up today. Surprise! I'm allergic to the opposite gender. <laughs> Naz looks like he was fighting the other men at Valentine's candy counter. Look, there's something moving inside my head. Valentine's Day is about love and sacrifice, so I sacrifice your gift. Because I'm only dating you because you feed me. <laughs> I'm concerned about your children when it comes to love and excuses for Valentine, Rochelle. That's funny, Rex. I'm worried about the environment and cars aren't eco-friendly. Oh, okay, Neil. My merry lady can help you skin that. Thank you, Martina. And uh, you're fishing in, a, in muddy water. You didn't give me last week's allowance. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's funny. Cards, candy, and flowers are expensive, so I decided against it. All right, I heard diamonds were a girl's best friend, so I thought they would get you a gift. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, Nancy. That's funny. <laughs> I fell in love with the cashier gear at the grocery store instead of you. Oh, I was busy trying to translate Biden's speeches. Okay. Oh, man, that's funny. You guys are funny. Because we're just going to look at the Valentine's Day card. Just look because you spend too much money. You know what my friend does, Yamo? You guys remember Yamo? He was on the show once. What he does is when he was when he was dating, or if he's dating, he's a single man, he would go to the store where the card section is. He would get a blank card, and he would look get a different card that's already have writing inside of it, and he would copy it with his own handwriting. So it looks like he made up the words. And he would sign it and give it to the girl. And they go, oh, you're such a poet. You wrote that? He's like, mm. He didn't lie. He wrote it. He copied it, but he wrote it. <laughs> I don't speak English, but love is all we need. Sure. The baby's diaper was dirty, and that's when I remembered Valentine's Day. Because Sarah only knits stockings around Christmas, not Valentine. I thought you were supposed to spread the flower pe pe uh, petals out to stamp on. I forgot your name and address. Because you don't look like your profile picture. <laughs> this is for little Monty. That is so funny, Monty. That is so funny. Oh my lord, you guys are funny. The guy who prayed over Naz and took the Jesus. Uh, he's a cross. So I didn't send it to me like he promised. Okay, that is brilliant. When did the girls figure out his car trick? <laughs> I don't know. He didn't tell him, but he told me. And Maha knows I can't write that well. <laughs> Due to COVID, Valentine's Day has been canceled. Okay. I was working on my Christopher Walken impersonation. 
Cat has not shed enough to finish your sweater. I was busy letting Biden sniff my head from next. That's Rex, you are so funny. Oh my lord, that's funny, kids. Alexa didn't remind me about Valentine's Day. I forgot. Oh, what's your name again? The store skipped Valentine's Day this year. Christmas items were out already. Because I'm going through mental pause. <laughs> hey, Chris. Because not celebrating any holidays is my New Year's resolution. Sure it is. Okay. Keep them coming, guys. And we're ending up with one question each night. Excuses why you forgot about Valentine's Day. I decided to watch the movie Valentine's Day instead and sadly I was by myself. I ran out of dimes. <laughs> I left my heart in San Francisco because they only had Easter candy at the store. Oh, because I used the Mayan <laughs> Lucas is back. Hello, Lucas. Lucas, I think from Brunswick, Ohio. Cupid saw his shadow, so I thought it was canceled. Or was that Groundhog Day? No, I think it's Valentine. You're, you're right on, Lucas. Because I was going to surprise you later. Sure. I accidentally abbreviated Valentine's Day as VD. <laughs> VD and no one, one said, nope. I dropped the chocolate in the toilet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Would it, would it count if I rewrapped last year's Valentine's Day gift? They didn't have any more Valentine's cards, so I got you a condolence card. Okay, let me change the question because tonight, believe it or not, I don't have a Guinness Book of World Record. The record. I don't have one. So, I'm going to take you to the next question. Did you guys know yesterday was Boy Scout Day? Boy Scout Day was yesterday. So, give me, now that they, you know, this is not politically correct, give me a different name for the Boy Scout. What else can we call him other than the Boy Scout? No guineas, I know. Sorry, people. I know Teresa comes in for that. Hoping to win the toilet paper. Did you move to Maine yet? Or are you still in uh, Boston? Because you brought your mother last year on our date. Oh, no. <laughs> One month. Last year, I gave you my heart. And the very next day, you gave it away. Right. Got you something better. Taking you on a cruise so you can be like Rose on Titanic and stand in front of the ship without holding on. Oh, I only celebrate holidays that Adam Sandler has written a song about Hanukkah. And because you don't love me anymore, so why do you care? <laughs> okay, let's see. No, a different name for the Boy Scout. Scouts. Gender neutrals. <laughs> the he, him scouts. Good ones. Fire starters. Can you just buy your own? <laughs> In Maine. All right. Congratulations. Snipe hunters. Boys club. The he man, woman haters. <laughs> Anything that won't get us canceled. Gerbil searching. <laughs> Mini mountain men. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Welcome. Walk scouts. The lost boys. <laughs> That's funny. Social engineering scouts. The vertically challenged males trying to earn badges. <laughs> Troopers lot. Bear bait. Okay, time to suck it up and share. Hydrate.
troopers lot. Bear bait. Come on, 82 people, you can you can share this. That would be great. Here we go, Bobby. Okay. Let's see what time is it. Okay, bald eagle scouts, bear bait, gender fluid scouts, she, the Joe Rogans, <laughs> little rascals, camp boys, hey Larkin, bugle boys, mosquito magnets, the other gender scouts, the missing links, boy oh boy, it's a girl, <laughs> oh no, shim scouts, canteen boys. <laughs> Yogi Bear Boys, convert your children to atheist scouts, Monty. <laughs> Many super troopers, overgrown tykes, <laughs> outdoorsmen, the one that allows boys in, <laughs> unmerited badge wearers, the atomic spies, scouting for s'more. <laughs> Good one, Teresa. Boohoo babies. The usual suspects, <laughs> the firecracker kids, the cis male scouts, city boys, the not so greatest generation, <laughs> the peat pipers of the woods. Is it pied or peat? The pied pipers. Ranger snakes. No, ranger rabbits. <laughs> I messed up the two. Sneaky snakes, discreters of national parks, dirty camp scouts, city for hers, metrosexual minors, binary scouts, the Pony Express, the Washington Command. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the brownies with pot, <laughs> Hitler youth, oh come on, <laughs> the ranger Joe squad, Generation Z, the ones who don't sell good cookies, <laughs> that's right, the Girl Scouts are better, FFA rejects, combat cowboys, the FBI club, right, Leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. The Cookie Monsters. All right, guys. Uh, Bobby Miller just sent us uh, the Guinness Book of World Record. Therefore, he cannot compete. So let's go to the Guinness Book of World Record so we don't disappoint you. The Longest Kiss. Achieved by Ikachel Tiranarat, which is, that's a bad name when you're kissing someone, and Laksana Tiranarat, both from Thailand. So Ikachel Tiranarat and his wife or her husband, Laksana Tiranarat, at an event organized by Ripley's Believe It or Not, Pattaya in Pattaya, Thailand, in February 2013. How long did they kiss to make it to the Guinness Book of World Record? Over an hour, under 100 hours. Give me your best three guesses, and you might win this beautiful toilet paper. Over an hour, under 100 hours. That sounds like a terrible record to win, right? Negative. Who was it? French kiss or regular one? I don't know, Michael. Um, future congressman. Popcorn peeps. Yeah, not the Girl Scouts. No. Two-fingered saluters. The Sasquatch gang. Cosplay kids. <laughs> Wilderness wildcats. Rope hikers. Crooked campers. Wannabes. 
All right, let's see. Does anyone with an American name ever do anything that goes into the world record? Yeah, we've done it once in a while. They're too busy, American. All right, Michelle Wilson says 72, 86, and 55. Dave Ebert, 27, 34, 43. Sarah, 52, 72, and 93. Becky Ottenberry, 65, 75, 85. Matthew Dirks, 5, 13, and 31. One day for Catherine. <laughs> okay, that's 24 hours. Martina, 99, 75, 64. Hershey's Kisses, 55, 66, and 77 for Rita. Frank, 45, 65, 77. Nancy, 33, 46, 77. 92 minutes and 15 seconds for Chris. Side note, who kissed for 100 hours? Wouldn't that hurt your lips? I think after 100. 58 hours for Teresa. Catherine Allen, 24, 48, 100. Michael Ramirez, 72, 86, 55. Debbie Malone, she said 28, 4, and 68. Teresa, 13 and a half. The rooster and ruby, the red bin, can't really do that, right? Because of just use your imagination. The beaks. 6, 17, and 34 for Dolores. Teresa said 88 with super glued lips. Right. All right. It, anybody else wants to guess? The longest kiss on the Guinness Book of World Record. Going once, going twice, sold. Christine Reeves, 7, 14, and 28. Sarah said sold. One more sold and we're ready to sell it. Going once, going twice, and Sold. Okay. Bobby Miller says it's sold. All right. The longest kiss lasted 58 hours. 58 hours. And the winner is Teresa for sure. For sure this time. Totally for sure. Teresa is the sole winner of this beautiful toilet paper. I'm glad, Teresa, we did that. I'm glad you you won the toilet paper. I was just telling you. You were, we weren't going to win one, but you did. Congratulations, Teresa. Yes, 58 hours. Alrighty, it is time for, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for right now. Prayer time. All right, I'm party training my grandson. It will come in handy, sure. Okay, if you have any prayer requests, please do it now. This is the time where we pray for you people. We mean it. We do pray for you. Continue to pray for my family, for my kids, and for the school system, for our kids in public schools, for our... Just for this confusion that's going on to to be over with in our colleges in our schools there's just a lot of confusion going on and uh, unspoken for Sarah anybody else needs prayer praying for your family thank you Sarah anybody else needs prayer tonight we will pray for you Pray for Anne, who's having shoulder surgery tomorrow. All right, Beverly Wicks, we will. For my job hunt, for Nancy, okay? Marriage, for Neil. Unspoken, for Remy's healing. Yes, Matthew, your grandson, Remy. Okay, anybody else needs a prayer request? Do it now. We're not going to pray right now, but we do pray for you as we close the show until tomorrow. 
we laying to rest our stepdaughter's tomatoes. We're laying to rest our stepdaughter tomatoes. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Frank. Prayers, Kath. Please pray that God will send some more good friends into my life. Yes, amen. Good night, everyone. Maybe I'll join tomorrow. Yes, night. I'm not 100% sure because I'm back to work tomorrow. All right, Chris, thank you for joining us. Remember, we'll be here tomorrow, God willing. Friday, I'm gone. And Saturday and Sunday. And Monday is Valentine's, so no show. So keep the shows on in Washington in your prayers. All right, let's see, Bobby, to have peace about my carpal tunnel surgery and physical therapy following. We'll be praying for that. Remy is six months old today. Wow. Fast. Time flies, man. Praying for Sophia Law. Again, people, if you want to send anything, a gift for her feet or any nurse's feet, let me know. I'll be your friend. Oh, thank you. Nancy and Sarah. Been feeling withdrawn a lot and uncle has cancer. Orky Christian Ian will be praying for you. Okay, and for your uncle, for Maggie Joe and her sons. Not your shirt, Nez. Blue forehead now. It's the background. Yeah, but what's causing the background is the shirt. All right. It's giving me a headache too. Maybe I should do this. Look at me. Oh no, my hands are killing me now. Okay. Pray for Jen's feet and health. Okay, we'll be praying for Jen, Matthew's wife. And sorry I didn't say hello to you earlier. All right, guys. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tonight. I just want to encourage you. Sometimes when you start praying for other people, you forget about your challenges and your problems. And um, just continue lift him before the Lord. Enter his, his throne. And with, with grace and with the knowledge that he wants you to come boldly to the throne and to, to ask him and he can hear your prayers and uh, he will give you grace upon grace. So praying for our nation, yes. Are we meeting tomorrow? No. <laughs> nope, you got to plan ahead, Michael. You told me last time I had time off and I jumped on it, but you couldn't. So, this is a great community you have created. Now, thank you, Neil. Welcome. Thank you for being part of it. Rosetti, God is still in the miracle working business. Amen. Praying for your upcoming gigs. So, you now praying that you have a, a restful weekend as well. Thank you, brothers. See you tomorrow. God willing. God bless you. Yes, we'll be on the show tomorrow.